What's up guys this is Sean Heather. In this video I am going to show you how to unlock your Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G, Note 20, S20 or any of the Galaxy smartphone if you no longer remember the pin or password and you are logged out of your device. So here we go. So to remove any kind of security from your device you will have to perform a hard reset or factory reset. Another thing you have to keep in your mind that whatever content you got on your device will be deleted and if you are logged into your Samsung account and the Google account, then after performing the hard reset, after wiping the data and everything, it might ask you to log in into your Samsung account and the Google account. So keep these two information handy before doing this task. And once again, keep in mind that everything is going to be deleted. So here I am at my lock screen. Let's assume I no longer remember the pin or the password. You can see so. Now to perform the factory reset, first of all just switch off the device. So once again I am at the lock screen, I just want to show you. Press and hold the volume down and power key together for a while. Once this screen appears, tap on power off twice. And now the device is switched off, so you have to go to the recovery menu. So press and hold the power key and volume up key, press and hold for a while like this. Do not move your fingers and once the Samsung logo appears you can remove your finger from the power key but keep pressing volume up and here we go. So now we are inside the recovery menu as you can see Android recovery and we got lots of options here. So the option we are looking for is the wipe data factory reset. So to navigate between these options you have to use the volume keys. So press the volume down to go to the wipe data factory reset and you can see that it is showing the exact same warning message that I have told you earlier that if you reset your phone you may need to enter the Google account information, email address and password associated with this phone to able to use it again. So as I said keep this information handy it might ask you for your Samsung account as well. So just press the power key now to select this option wipe data factory reset. And now you can see that once again it is showing you this warning message that I have mentioned earlier that it will wipe all user data and this cannot be undone. Once again use the volume down key to go to factory data reset and after that you need to just press the power key once. So now I'm going to press the power key keep looking at the bottom here you will see some progress once I press the power key. And you can see it is showing wiping data formatting data and the data wipe is completed. So now the factory data reset is finished and we just need to restart the device. So I'm just going to press the power key once because reboot system now option is already selected and now the device is getting rebooted. Once the rebooting process is finished we will start fresh. So whatever you did in the very beginning like selecting the language time zone you will have to do everything once again and as I said it might ask for the Google account as well. I was logged into my account. Let's see whether it is going to ask for my Google account data or not. And here we go. So as you can see that we are starting fresh with our Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G. So I'm just going to go through all of this setup and let's see whether I'm going to get the access back to my smartphone or not. So you can see at the very bottom of the screen that it is showing the message that I performed a factory reset forcefully and I need to connect to my Wi-Fi to verify my identity and it means that it's going to ask for the Google account or the Samsung account data that I was using on this device. So I'm just going to do that part quickly. So now you can see once again it is asking either for my PIN or the Google account. So considering our situation we of course forgot the pin and that's why we performed this action. So we will have to use the Google account to verify that we are the owner of this particular device. It's not a stolen or something. It seems that the process is about to be finished. My account is added. The one I was using on this device.
and here we go finally we reach the home screen of our device but everything is gone uh, the gallery is empty everything is gone but the good part is that i got the access back to my device my samsung galaxy note 20 ultra 5g so this is how you can perform a hard reset or factory reset on your Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, Note 20, Galaxy S20, S20 Ultra Pro, whatever device you got from Samsung Galaxy, you can use this option to remove any kind of security from your device and gain the access back to your smartphone. So that's all for now friends. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads and I'll see you guys next time in another video. Have a nice day.